All right, we're back at this rather unassuming menu screen to see. Oh my God, we're in control of someone. Uh. All right. Uh, just gonna continue on here. And what is this? Oh, it's a save point. I might cut this out. Okay, I'm definitely cutting out saves. It takes forever to save in this game. What is this thingy? Oh God. That live in the forest around here aren't really very strong, so I should be able to defeat them without too much trouble. But just to be safe, I'll go over the basics of how to fight again. To yourself. Let's see. The turn order goes from fastest to slowest, right? Uh, that'd be standard. It looks like it's my turn now. So I should try moving around a bit to start with. Uh, I don't even know what I'm fighting. Until this action gauge runs out of time, I can move around to anywhere I want. The action gauge only decreases when I'm actually doing something, so if I don't know what to do next, I can stop and think about it without losing my turn. Huh. Moving around isn't the only thing I can do, I can attack enemies too. Huh. This time, I think I'm gonna try using the attack button. How does she know there's an attack button? <laughs> now I've got it! I'm starting to remember how to do this more and more! There's also one other thing about the action gauge. Every time one of my attacks hits an enemy, the action gauge goes up a little. Which means that the more I attack my enemies, the more extra time I'll get to keep on moving and fighting. Alright, I think maybe it's time to try attacking. Huh, okay, so... Alright, um... Like all the time in the action gauge has run out already. I guess that means my turn is over. I guess I'll just have to wait until it becomes my turn again. Huh. Oh, that's right. I almost forgot about that. When the next arrow appears overhead like this, it means that my turn will be coming up next. Huh. That this is interesting. To prepare, and I won't be surprised by it suddenly becoming my turn. All right. Okay, it's my turn again. I feel sorry for this little guy, but I guess I'd better finish him off. You childish girl. Kill your enemies! Smack, smack, smack. Stab, stab, stabby, stabby, stab, stab, stab. Die! Don't die. Don't hurt me! No, no, no! Look out! By pressing the guard button when an enemy attacks and this icon appears, I can defend myself. Oh, good thing I knew that. timing just right, so I really need to concentrate. Oh, if I'd known that earlier. And if I want to run away, I press and hold down the L1 and R1 buttons at the same time when it's How does she know what these buttons then are? I hold down the buttons during my entire turn, so I have to watch for the next arrow. That way I can start holding down the L1 and R1 buttons before my turn even starts and make sure I'm able to get away. How does she know? I think that pretty much covers all the basics of fighting. Okay, I'm almost done. I just have to keep at it. How does she know what all these buttons mean? Does she have like a PS2 controller in her handbag or something? You just got pwned by a 14-year-old girl with an umbrella. Some enemy you are. Okay, so that goes over the basics of fighting. I don't even know if I want to stop playing this game. It's so fun already. What's over here? There's nothing over here. It's a dead end. Oh no! Looks like I'm actually going to enjoy combat. I might not even cut any of these out. Die! Just watch this! You have been pwned, good sir. Wait, I'm a girl. I should talk like one. Ooh. A peach cookie! Yay! Wait, what are peach cookies? All you people who have watched this before are like, Oh, how do you not know what these are? How do we have so much health to start with? Normally in RPGs, you have to go to like level 10 or so before you have this much health. Hello, giant bouncy ball of death that looks slightly like a pumpkin. Oh boy, there's two of them. Just watch this. Okay, uh, die, 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 and die. Oh, 
So that's a healing move. Ow. Ow. Go away. Oh. So that's what the dark and light... Oh, okay. So that's what dark and light special attacks are all about. It's depending on where you are on the battlefield. Oh, I like this game. Misa like this game too much. I attack you now. I know I can do it. Rather good. For a person who's never played this game before, but so far it's just button mash. Alright, so, uh, I was just about to debate which way to go. Oh, oh don't talk. I'm so tired. Deal with it. There's so many people living in Retardando. Why won't any of them buy from me? And now... Oh, this is Squirrel! Hi, Squirrel! I'll name you Ralph. Get over here, Ralph. No, Ralph. Ralph, no! Ralph, no! Don't leave me, Ralph! <laughs> no, Ralph! I see. I guess you don't want to be touched by me, either. I could say something that Chugga Conroy would be very, very proud of, but I won't. Come Ooh, boy, cutscene. Pluto's famous floral powder. It works very well. Please give it a try. That's actually a relatively decent sales pitch. Floral powder? Hmm. I didn't know people still made that. What with the mineral powder we can get these days? Why would anyone need that stuff? Now, I don't mean to be rude, honey, but floral powder just isn't useful anymore. Yeah, I'm guessing mineral powder is made by the pharmacy companies. Hmm. I guess no one around here wants to buy it. Ow! Hey, what was that for? What's your problem? Uh, but I didn't do anything. Who do you think you're talking to? I, I huh? didn't... Uh, uh, <laughs> Hugh got hurt so bad his legs almost kicked himself in the head. Anyone that glows like that girl did. Do you understand me? What the hell? But why? Because I said so, that's why. Now come on. What the fuck is up? She saved his life, so they're acting like utter dicks. Uh, let's see what I can do in the next five minutes. Yay, more peach cookies! What is over here's nothings? Staple of my RPGs and more. Uh, staple of my LPs, acting like an utter idiot. I'll do my best. You die now. Oh. 
now. Go to hell, you son of a bitch. I am not doing as much damage as I want to be. I just killed all you little pumpkin guy S things. Aha, here we go. Tenudo. I am assuming. Wow, a rainbow where there cannot physically be one. Hooray, RPG logic. Oh, there's no awesome, like, narrating voice saying, Tenudo Village. Well, let's see, I'm pretty sure the next part of my uh, LP is just gonna be, you know, uh, me exploring Tenudo, so hopefully you guys think that's relatively interesting. Cutting out a save! And we are back from cutting out another very long save. What do you have to say for me? Okay, so apparently I have to head home and get some rest. Yeah, what are those mineral powders anyway? Barging into random houses, residents. Is it like taking stuff out of piece people's houses for the win? Ah, <laughs> your husband when you made a mess of things. I didn't even say it was great, and you said it was great. Wow, you're so self-centered about your cooking. Oh, uh, the big city is nothing. Whoa! Okay, when this uh, recording is over, I need to figure out why my leg is bleeding. But this is the magic of editing and stuff. Huh, <laughs> Chris? Maybe that's what Poco really wants. Yeah, but that's the power of LPing. I don't care that my leg is bleeding randomly. Rather a lot, I must say. <laughs> now that I've finished cleaning, maybe I'll look at the flower field. Oh, that's right, I need to water the flowers. This damn leg keeps bleeding. <laughs> I'm scared. Oh, good thing you're not talking to Polka. That'd be rather odd. Not going to the flower. Uh, I'm guessing this is Polk, 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 Polka's house. If this is Polka's house, I'm guessing there's going to be a cutscene, so I'm going to end things off right now. I'm going to save it, and then I'll meet you guys back here in the next episode when I record again. <laughs>